Hello! I'm Sandra Mejia and in this channel I show you all about my life as an illustrator and surface pattern designer. Today I'm going to unbox my Art Philosophy by Prima Watercolors Confections Watercolor Set. And this one is the vintage pastels one. What I like the most about these watercolors is that it comes in this beautiful tin. This is super useful. You can use this as a palette and it comes with this so you can make your swatches here. And it comes in these super little cute half pans. Now I'm going to unpack them and set them in the tin. If you don't want them to move around, you can use a little magnet or double-sided tape on the bottom. The colors are periwinkle, sage, golden glow, terracotta, suede, stone gray, breezy, soft lilac, charcoal, dark rose, apple blossom, and dusky mauve. Now I'm going to add some drops of water to each so I can activate them and start swatching them. The colors are very light, obviously because it's a pastel set, which is weird because with watercolors you can make any color look pastel if you add a lot of water but I wanted to see if these ones can be very concentrated and then still be pastel without being muddy. These paints are very smooth and they pick up easily, like they re-wet easily. And it is very weird that it can stay as a pastel. And I think they're all mixed with white. You can see the pigments and light fastness of each printed in the chart. Oh, I love this breezy color. I usually don't like purple so much and I don't know, it's kind of weird for it to be here because it doesn't look as pastel, but I'm sure a lot of people like it. Oh my God, this charcoal is amazing. You can't see it as well in the video, but it's such a deep black and it's so pretty. I know a lot of people don't like using black in their paintings, but I love it. Oh, this is such a pretty pink also. I wish it was a bit more intense. Oh, there we go. Just add a bit more paint. And this dusky mauve is very pretty too. I'm very happy with this color palette. I like it a lot, but now we have to try it in real life. So here I have a sketch of one of my birds and flower, and we're going to try to paint this quickly just to see how the paints behave. I'm just using a block of Canson XL watercolor paper and I'm just adding soft washes of different colors around the bird. After those soft washes, I go in with more paint just to make details. And if you want to make darker details, just go in with very concentrated paint, so very little water, and that way the color will be darker. going to try this charcoal. Be careful with it because it's very, very dark, like it's super concentrated. And you told this is my favorite color from the whole set. I just want to use it everywhere. The good thing about these palettes like this is that the colors will always go well together. 
so you won't have to worry about using colors that clash with each other. So if you're a beginner in color theory, I think this is very, very useful. Now let's add some of this yellow for the beak and for the middle of the flower. I'm going to paint the flower with the pink obviously because it's also one of my favorite colors so I have to try it. And I'm going to use this darker pink to create some variations of the color and to add some shadows. Now let's paint the eye and bring him to life. Going to add some details here too. And add some lines to create more definition in the wings and the tail. I'm adding some details to the flowers the same way. And 
and more little lines to simulate feathers. And finally, I'm going to use my dagger brush, which is my favorite to create leaves, just to add some leaves. And for that, I'm going to be using different shades of greens just to create some variation. Using different shades of colors just makes your illustration a bit more interesting. Okay, there you have it, judge for yourselves. I think it looks very different from what I usually create. I don't use uh, pastels a lot or very, very muted colors. I kind of like it for a very specific style of art. I think for creating botanicals and birds like this, it'll look very pretty. You can create a very pretty collection of stationery with it, but I don't think I'll be using it every day just because I like working with more vibrant colors, but it's definitely a good thing to have. If you have tried it, let me know in the comments or let me know what you think of them. I think I'm going to try their woodland set next just because it's more like my palette. I definitely like their watercolors for creating illustrations that I'm going to scan. For illustrations that I'm going to sell or exhibit, I like to use my Sennelier or Daniel Smith watercolors. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just subscribe so you can see all the videos I post. I hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next one. Bye.